。同学们，大家好，今天我们来说一下，如果你申请的工作是 Product Analyst 的话，该如何准备 Onsite Interview？ 一般来说，公司会考你两大类 Skill Set， one is technical， the other is business。Technical 的话，一般不外乎这三类问题。第一，一般是一个 SQL question； 第二类有可能教你 design 一个 A/B test； 第三类有可能会 test your fundamental stats knowledge， 比如说 Bayes theorem。这是我们拿到的一个正式的 SQL question。比如说，他会给你一个 data schema， and you'll be given maybe three tables， and the first table will have For example,、um, web visitors visit information, and it'll have columns such as timestamp, user ID, event name, the item that person bought, dollar spent, and the second will be a registration table. It'll have registration ID, first last name of that registered user. The third table will probably have IP address of that visit. City and country, as well as、um, timestamp, and then it'll ask you to generate some metrics. For example, what's the daily active user count? What's the daily new user count? What is the distribution of in-app time spending? 那要练习 SQL 的话，网上这些 resource 很多，比如说 W3 School， 呃、uh, ，Lead Code 一些章节和呃、uh, ，Data Analyst。你们要考的那些 SQL question 也都是有关的。第二类问题就是 Bayes theorem. Here is an example. The third level question, he usually will tell you to design a A/B test from start to finish. For example. We would like to change the color of a button on our website. Do you think it's a good idea? Can you design an A/B test and tell us? 那这个时候你就要从啊、um, how to design 一个 experiment 着手，从 set up the hypothesis, design the KPI, calculate the sample size to properly set up the control and test group. A/B test 的话，它其实有很多要考你的方面。一类是你懂不懂 sample size 是怎么计算出来的，它受什么影响和限制。还有比如说 KPI design 是一个很大的，它要考你的一个方向。如果你对这家公司的产品不理解的话，那你肯定是。You're not going to be able to come up with、uh, meaningful KPIs. In order to come up with meaningful KPIs, you definitely need to understand.、Um, you definitely need to understand how the product works, how it works within the、uh, entire ecosystem of both within the website and within the larger scheme of the business model and revenue model. 还有一些我们经常拿到一些 data challenge. They'll give us、um, the platform's usage data and ask us to tell them how to have them improve the effectiveness of the platform. 那这就需要建模。那建模的话，其实我一直跟同学们说 ，you definitely need to understand the drivers of business. 因为 how robust your model is will. Largely be dependent on how robust your features are. You will have to make meaningful features. This is what I want to tell you. Actually, you think your job is to design models, but the driving force behind the model is your business and the product. Let's use Uber as an example. For example, if I want convenience and I don't mind paying、um, a few extra bucks, I will probably choose the door-to-door -door service. But if I'm a,、um, if I want to save money or if I am more like a value customer, then I'll probably choose their、um, pool service or meet me at a certain location service. So these are the products that are developed. Um, based on the customer's needs, and they also have products that are built for 
its drivers i know for uber drivers have to download their app to drive right and so the uber application actually has features that allow um that give drivers a very clear view about where surge pricing is happening so that the driver can choose to drive toward that area or not and uh driver uber feature go allow drivers to get as many uh, customers as he can based on the driving direction preference 然后pricing对Uber来说也是一个他们内部要用的产品 Pricing呢, it's driven by um, an algorithm and it has uh, a lot of different drivers Okay, we're not going to talk about it here because there are just so many different tiers and 然后它也有match driver和rider的 uh, product Okay, because Uber wants both sides to have a good experience. Uber not only wants to make its riders happy, it also wants to keep its drivers, which means to make its drivers happy because driver churn is very expensive for Uber. Okay. Oh, another product is fraud detection. I read a recent article that Uber has a lot of fraudulent ride requests. Actually, it came from Chinese微信,有很多 um, criminals, they will use Chinese微信来向Uber这个app发生很多 fraudulent requests 当中做很多手脚来非法盈利那Uber当然要 um, build algorithms to effectively detect those uh, fraudulent rights and catch the bad guys and that's yet another Product. So I just want to have to understand exactly what product you will be analyzing because the drivers that drive product success is different based on what the product is. And additionally, Google is your best friend. Uh, go to Google. Uh, look for if there are articles writing about the new products that are coming to the market from this company and of course you always go to the company's um, website and look at the press release section or the blog section how does it function right 然后我还想说的是中国同学的一个误区就是很多中国学生比较喜欢抄近路 I know a lot of you guys will go to Glassdoor or 一亩三分地 看一看面试的时候需要问些什么问题啊 Valley或者美国也不会有这么多innovation Okay, independent thinking skills, critical thinking skills. Um, so guys, please stop doing that. 因为我们既然到了美国来了, putting honest work. Sure, you know, Glassdoor, Emo Sanfendi, they serve their own purposes. There are people who will share, you know, what kind of questions are being asked during the interview, and here are my answers, but it will not teach you the how, the knowledge. Um, knowledge accumulation is always through um, is always through honest work. Okay. 这是行不通的。行的。如果行得通的话，那我就觉得没有逻辑了。Why would people want to put in the hard work, right? And lastly, you know how to do research on the interviewer team. I think that's also very, very important. 然后你看到onsite interview schedule的时候, please pay attention to the different um, roles, job titles. 如果他要data data有关的什么意思呢就是说 you will have to understand ETL rules at least you also have to be able to communicate with the data engineer you are probably most probably be the person who will go out and collect the data yourself um, 如果你是marketing analyst 但是有product manager和你聊 那 your responsibility probably will also be um, part of your responsibilities will also be supporting the product decisions so uh, product should be part of your homework okay
<clears throat> when you're doing research on the interviewer team, pay attention not only to their current job, what they're doing, but also、um, their past experience. And the most important thing is their major. Okay, pay attention to what they studied at school. Why is this very important? Because it can tell you what this person knows. What kind of things he knows, what kind of things he doesn't know. 然后他的侧重点是什么 ？What's his business language when talking to you？ 这样就可以有助于你在面试的时候猜题。那同学们，如果你们要抄近路的话，我觉得这完全是一个很合理也是 logical 的近路啊，对不对 ？This is definitely a shortcut that's worth um um worth exploring. Once you have done everything I have taught you today, which is how to understand the company, the business model, the revenue model, its product, its customers, and then be more sophisticated in your thought process as and do research on the interviewer team, you're gonna be well positioned before you go into your next on-site interview. <laughs>